Welcome back folks, this is Lesson 42. From the Lesson 41 in Cadiz in Spain, we are now travelling to Scotland. This is a beautiful castle, uh, it's on the Isle of Mull, and it's called Duart Castle. This is a, a beautiful peninsula there, overlooking the, this is the, the and, and, and then this is the, all the, it is a sticking out bit here, and that's the, the mainland of Scotland across there. But uh, let's get cracking, shall we? We've got the, I'll put you a sketch up first. There's the, the colours there, sort of a Rossi and Roca, the Cobalt Blue, or a uh, similar blue, Cobalt if you've got it, a Burnt Sienna or Light Red, which is, and the mix together there will uh, will give you a lovely grey colour. That's the bottom colour. So I'll move the colours now and let's 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 see what we get. On the, I've masked out certain areas of the, there because although the, it's it's a, a summer time, there's still evidence of snow on the on, on the hills behind it. So on the foreground, we're okay. So let's have a go, shall we? And see how we go. The sky. This is a, a suggestion of randomly placed clean water. Not all over, just randomly placed. See how we go. See what kind of sky we're going to get this down. Different colours. But uh, the sunshine colour I'm going to start with is the, is the raw sienna. Bit of sunshine. Now the light today, folks, is coming from the left. There, so it'll find the face of that castle and uh, it would be in full glory. Just scatter a bit of sunshine around there. And then go and stick some... This is uh, cobalt blue, this. Down to the horizon there. Mind the chimney if you can. Take it to the top of that hill there, on that mountain, hill, mountain, call it, call it what you like. And I think what I would like to do, I'd like to leave some, some evidence of, of, of cloud just drifting in between that mountain there. Just let's see if we can get a, the effect of that. Well, I've softly taken it into there. Into the and into this side as well. That'd be nice. So it's just been called over a touch of sky because that's a distant mountain and these two more foreground. So we'll see how we go with that, shall we? And then of course it's just too nice the sky, so we're going to make it a bit darker. Put some. This is the the uh, burnt burnt sienna, sort of the uh, cobalt. The light red and the uh, coal blue. This gives you that lovely dark, dark grey colour. I'm getting my colours mixed up there. I must be an old. So the lights from the from the right, isn't it? Oh, sorry, the left, over here. So we'll get some sort of indications of uh, shadows on the, the side of the clouds here as well, away from the light. Flick it in. I don't want to do too much, or you 
you get fiddling. We're not, we're not fiddling today, are we? We're trying to fiddle in here, but, uh, but sometimes it happens. So put, put a nice dark down there, would be nice against that snow, wouldn't it? That's, I want the contrast, see. Let's, let's help our contrast by putting the darks against the lights. There we are. Spend a bit more time with the sky tonight today, so we'll see how we go anyway. A touch more dark up this corner here might be helpful. The mountain, and it, it's actually showing some some evidence of, of, of cloud shadow in the foreground here, around here. Let's, let's just see if I can lift some of that out there. It's just a bit too strong for me. come off from that sky and round there. Just an indication of, like, remember the light is coming from the left hand side all the time, so we're going to get any shadows on these crevices or, or undulations in the mountain on the on the opposite side. But I said don't, don't do too much on this because it's background stuff. And there again, the whole cloud coming in there, that, that's, that's evidence of that. You might get a touch of, just a touch of sort of faint, faint brownie colour in there. Just the, that's the light red, just to indicate that it's not all snow up there. Just down here at this lot. So the light from the left, so they're going to get some shadowy areas on the on the right hand side of the the hillsides, and where it breaks away from the light, just here. And some down this back here. No moving just there. Travel down there. It just flicks, leave a flick of white on the top there. Then I want to introduce some of that that light red. Just a touch of that light red into that colour there. Just to give it a bit of into this because it comes into the we can see part of the mountain there. Something to this side as well. The snow's melting away. You can, you can see it's melting. It's not all all over the place, is it? So we're we're seeing uh, the evidence of well, this time of the year, it's it's, it's going to be not so snowy, is it? It was a lovely trip we had there. It was a, uh, we were, were taken round by Lord Lord McLean, McLean or McLean or whatever they they call him. I don't know, but a lovely man, uh, ex uh, army gentleman, uh, was in the SAS, which is the the rough lads, those. 
and uh, he was such a nice fella. Beautiful castle. If you ever get a chance to go to Timbal and have a look at that, you, you tend to drop, 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 we dropped anchor at uh, Tublemora and then took a coach trip down the, down the coast. Really, re really nice. Just put some darks in there, that's, that's, that's just filling that in slightly. I don't have to put in just some, some really dark, the, the light red, plenty of light red there, that's the colour we're using. And then just a touch of, of uh, cobalt blue in there to darken it a bit, just to indicate some darker areas, but still browny. Further down the mountain here, as it comes into just to here. And I think just a, a Pale wash of, might get a wash of sienna up there. Just throw some some sunlight on that mountainside. Just to blend that in a little bit there. We don't want it too not not too detailed. It's just got to it's got to stay in the background, doesn't it? It's not it's not the main subject. I'm just showing a little bit of light in there. Touch in the middle there. It's always a bit more detail when it's closer, isn't it? We haven't used much of this, these colours that, uh, that so far in the, in the 40, 41 lessons, but I thought we'd introduce them because they're, they're, they're lovely colours. This is like the undercoat. Just getting the, the base of that thing in. Get rid of the white there because it's not snowing. The snow is all melted down here, so it's just on the, on the mountain tops. of some darks in there that might help just a touch like that I might get a touch of blue up there as well to, I want to get a touch of contrast there between that hillside there that's in the shadow a bit there you see that hillside and that, that's to the cloud formation coming through the hills there. That'll help that won't it? Just give me a nice line there. Another shadow on that one. As it comes down. All these twiddly little bits, they, they, they might seem a bit a bit fiddly, but uh, it, it certainly makes you, your hillsides look look better. A bit more shadow there. Some some coming down here as well. Let's come down into this. It comes into these crevices here. It gets darker. You might find it a bit boring this, but uh, we're trying to make it look realistic for you. Nice to put it dark against that, that mountain there, isn't it?
it'll separate it between that, that, that mounting behind it, won't it? That's going to be two distinct shapes there, you see. Right, I'll keep going, there's a little touch in here, I don't want to do too, too much on that, just to... Don't to lose too much light there. I think what I want to do here is, is in the, the base of the, the mounting, introduce a touch of green. Because it, it, it's basically green down the bottom, so let's put some, uh, let's see, some... Just a, a rough colour, the, 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 the sienna that we've, we've been using, touch of the sienna, and the cobalt blue, what we've also been using. Let's see what kind of green that gives us, shall we? It don't want to be too rich, it's just a, a distant green. Not too strong. And, it, and it's, 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 this is tumbling down the mountainside here, this is the stuff just... So we've lost any snow at all on this, this base of this mountain here, and uh, it's starting to look greeny. And, and when the snow finally goes, it'll it look looked in green all over, won't it? So it's, it's gradually taking over the grass. Just flicking some into there. And down to the edge of the lock. And then we, we, we can start fiddling about with the, with the nice bit, the, the, the Duart Castle, which I say that the, in, I think it's 14th century it is, it's, uh, and the, 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 there's a bit of a feud going on apparently between the two proclaimed family, I think the two brothers, uh, Hector and someone else, and they the, the, the split one went one way and one went the other way, and uh, I think they, I don't think they're feuding now, like, I think they've got over it, but... Uh, but it, 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 it made two, two branches of the, the McLean clan. I don't know much about the history, but uh, it, it's, it's interesting, if you are interested, to, to, to have a look at it. So that, that's, that's brought the, the, the bottom of the mountain. And I think in this one at the back there, we just indicate a touch of greenery into that because it's, it's low down, isn't it? Down into there. That's it. That's not as close as that, so it's paler green. And I might even just even, even strengthen some of that green at the bottom there with a, a touch of cadmium yellow. With some that cobalt blue and see what that gives us. Right, I, th I think that'll, that'll do now. We can, we can leave that to drive it. And let's see what we're doing on this foreground here. I'll just put the dryer into a bit. Uh, this is all the castle place here. There's a bit of a house or something, something around the front of it here. But the castle part, let's let's paint that uh, that raw sienna what we started with that that basic lovely sunshiny colour. This we'll give it a wash of that. That's nice, just a nice wash of that. Washing that uh, this this like a jetty thing here as well. Got plenty of paint on there. I can just dip into it because it's running. Up round there. I think we'll have a chimney pot in, in brick colour, shall we? Brick colour, that, that'll do. And continue this colour around the, the rest of it. We can put the tree in on top of it later. So 
Seems we've got a lot of previous tissue. A lot of liquid there. This is a bit of a round tower at the back there. That's in that colour and that will be in that colour as well. And that will just there. So that's the base colour for that. And I think we can put some of this colour into 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 some of these these rocks here to start with. Which run down to the the uh, water's edge. It's the only course that I say, it's just, you don't have to sort of make anything special. It gets rid of the white as well. You know I don't like just white. Yeah, it's to come down here. A bit of greenery this is, this better here. Get some rocks here. End of that gable end there. Right, and these, I'll put these roofs on. They're, they're, they're like a, a pantile colour, so which is that light red will do the trick well, what we've been using. Good colour, good strong colour. Put some of that on there. I should make that stand out. So we've got this roof here. Slip going up there. In fact, the chimney on of this car as well. Down to that point there. side of the roof okay that slipped into there that to be in the same color that there it's just that on there. That's this one here, this roof here, running across the other angle. Smaller part of it just here. Mind these sticky up bits in the roof there. the chimney pot. Couple of pots up there. Ch 
chimney and the roof on this one. Another chimney at this end. Right, I'm looking around for things to do now. Let's see, see, see if I miss anything when I'm messing about here. No, I'll probably, I'll probably tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll, they look a bit B&Q. We'll, 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 we'll shade these a bit and darken them because they're, they do look a bit new. And I don't want that. I'll stop fiddling now. Right, let's see what shall we do next. I think we'll do some... Uh, We'll get some of these bushes in here. There's bushes all around here, and uh, in fact, we'll get the grass in first, and then we can we can deal with the bushes as we go along. So I'm going to make some cadmium yellow. Okay, I want to bring it forward. Cadmium yellow. It's a nice rich colour that. With a touch of uh, try cobalt. Try that cobalt blue because we've been using it all through, and see how we go. See what we gives us. If it gives us a, a rich enough colour. So we've got to come down here with. Oh, that's all right, yeah, lovely that. It's tough to it'll come over the edge there, so it just. Just a bit of a bushy thing here. I'll just. Put an undercoat on that one. Continue on with some a touch of green on top of there. Into there. And on the crest of that there. Come down there. Some along the bottom here. Make it nice and rich, we get near the front. You see, it's it resisting it here, but similarly, you know what's happening? I put a touch of masking fluid along there to protect my water's edge. You'll see what I mean when, I, when we, get, we get to it. It just gives me a little, little touch of protection so I can move a bit faster with the, with the brush. Right, take some down here. Keep it going, it runs quite close to there. And then this is grassy just here. Let's put a wash of grass in just down here.
Marking that colour in that there. Some darks down here. This the light from the left, don't forget. So we're going to get some dark areas of green and that. And I want to put those 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 trees and that in here as well. So let's get them moving as well. Right, let's see these bushes. These are strong bushes. They're, they're, they're these conifer type bushes. So I want to put some darkish blue in this. So I'm going to use a, a colour called uh, Windsor Blue, which is which is quite a strong blue, and uh, and cabin leather, yellow. Sorry, cabin yellow. Because I want a, quite a a darkish green to show me a green. Give me a nice dark colour. That's it, this is what I want. Even darker than that, in fact. Nice juicy dark that. Of course the, the, the sun from where? The left, isn't it? So the lightest part of this tree will be on the right, uh, left and the darkest part will be where I'm painting now. Just here, that will be dark, won't it? Really dark. And then as I come round to the, the sunny side, we can introduce a touch of cadmium, if I can introduce cadmium yellow there into the, the, the left hand side of this, this uh, tree you'll find that uh, it lightens it and catches it and the, sun's, the sun will catch it just here like this look it. so it's not all, all dark it's, it's just it's being caught by the, by the sun there And it's a similar kind of tree here, or a bush. Let's get, let's get a nice dark on it. And here again, we can put some light on the left-hand side, because and that'll also give it uh, a roundness, won't it? it uh, it's not just a, a flat piece of green; it's it's got got shape. Don't overdo it, though, mind. Right, so so we've got two strong trees there, or bushes, whatever you want. We've got the, the makings of the, the, the castle and that. I think we should have some windows in here as well. And there's a tower there, a, 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 sort of a tower, a, a flagpole. Let's get pop, pop, pop that in as well. Greeny colour, that's rich because it'll be in the foreground here, won't it?
I suppose he's titled this, you know. I mean, that's that's why it, it, it's got a sort of a, a sort of a, 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 a sort of shallow shell of it here because it's it must go in and out. I don't know, you know. I have no idea, but uh, just a just a thought. I've been wrong before, many times. <laughs> Strength this dark here because I wanted to come forward towards me. That's it. I think well before we do that though, I'll just go to some of this this rockery that this, this, uh, the 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 castle is stood on, and that's used in the same colours we use the 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 light red. with a touch of blue into it, make it big a bit darker. And that should give me some, some darks for these these sort of rock colours down here. Quite a strong rock that's coming down here. It's the right hand side of the hill is dark, see, because it's because of the sunlight. We also always have to remember that that the the, the sun is, is in control. Your rocks on this, because this this rock has got to match the stuff over there because it sits as similar stuff, isn't it? I'll do a little snippy up bits here. And this water's edge. I'm slipping some darks in, in where the, the shadow areas are. Because this has got to come in front of that, hasn't it? Because it's in foreground. Right, now I'll tattle that to these, these windows and stuff like that. A nice chisel brush would sort those, I think. Yeah, a small chisel brush will, will, will do that. And I'm using the colours that were used for the sky, for these windows, that's the, the cobalt blue and the light red mixed together, but hardly any water. This will give me a quite, a quite nice dark, it will. Hopefully. Just test it on my paper. And let's see what we've got. Drop some windows in here. There 
that's it. I think I've worn around this side as well. And the doorway, that's that's quite dark, that doorway there. We went through that door, that's that's why we, we got into the into the castle. It's uh, fascinating, it really is. It's a smaller approach to get that little top bit done. Got like a curved top. And this other is that this window window in this tower here. I'm trying to remember this. It's not. It's not, it's not a photograph. It's a, I'm trying to remember. I think there was, I think there's some windows up here as well, but not as big as them. Anyway, they've got some now. They can soon fill them in if they don't like them. We're creating a painting, not another photograph. Right, these, these sticky up towers, we've got to put one of them in, haven't we? I think I'll do this freehand, it's uh, I think I can get away with it, I think. See how we go. The one on the, the little round tower down here. Right, that's that's that do for a, a few windows and that stuff like that. Right, there's a there's a, a sort of indication of sort of uh, well like a like a ledge or something along here as well. Let's put these ledges in. One across this one here. Don't know what they are, but uh, I'm sure they mean something. I'm going to use a. Uh, I'll use that, that stuff we used in the sky to give me a nice yellow colour. Put some water into it. That's the the cobalt blue and the light red. Should give me a, a nice dark there. And there's the light's from the, the left, isn't it? So let, let's put on, we shall have some some shadow areas uh, on, on this side, of course. And that, that thing there will be in shade, won't it? It'll be in that side of the chimney pot. A bit of shadow under there, under the eaves. That'll be in shade, that little little piece there, and this'll be in shade here. This piece there. That's in full shadow, isn't it? That's right, yeah. Uh, that's in full sun. 
this chimney pot there is in shade just there and that side there and that side there this there will be in shade just there and this side of the wall will be in shade there Been shared the edge of those little lean to windows. Get a shadow under there and there. And we'll probably get a shadow from that being in front. We'll probably get a shadow down here on this, like that. on the top of that there the this this tower is is, is circular as I said so that that bit there will be in shade be darker near the the edge and creep round it will this piece here, this panel here will be in shade. So it's all coming from this side. Uh, we'll probably get, get shadows from these, these trees and stuff like that. You know, like, like it's coming from there, we'll probably get a shadow like that there, from this tree. And this one in front here, this one here, will be a nice shadow under there, won't they? Probably get some shadows on this rocks here. And also on this rock here. Because they will cast shadows at these things, won't they? In fact, these these will be in shade as well. We'll darken those. The chimney pots there will just be in shadow at that side and that side, and the pot on top will be just there and there. I think that's that's okay from there. Now what I want to do next is I'll get this water in at the back there for a start. Let's put that to cobalt blue in. See how we go with this. This is this is the, the cobalt blue. Let's just pop some in here. Just trying to just catching that water hedge there. Right, now this foreground, what I want to do with this foreground is I want to wet it first. Clean water. It's not very clean water, that, but it's the best I've got.
Don't want it too, too, too wet, it's just, it's going to be, be damp if you like. And what I want to do here is, is, is uh, indicate the, the reflections of some of the stuff on the land in, in the foreground here, that's what I'm trying to do. So uh, let's get the touch of this. This 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 colour here will be well before that we we'll get this 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 greenery then won't we just this greenery about this here just down here. it down there like that. That green really look let that come down there. And then we we'll get the of course the the castle over in here as well. On top of that, there's got we've got the some of this greenery from this tree and that here, haven't we? Reflecting in the water. We don't want a mirror, we, we, what we want is just a, a suggestion of where some of the colours come in, into the, reflecting into the water. There's a tree there reflecting nicely. The nose there. Some red roofs down there, isn't there? The, uh, Roofs are here, they'll be sort of about here. They've got dark, dark shadowy area down down here. indication of those rocks there. I might get a touch of that one there as well. Just protecting. And then of course in the top we shall get the uh, indication of the of the roof and that won't we? Just about here. Just a suggestion. Those down here. And then some of the down here as well. One there. And uh, I try that a bit because I want to. I want to show a little bit more of these these windows and that, but it, it, I don't want it to spread too much. I'll, I'll, I'll try and see, see how we go though with it. We might, we might get away with it with a bit of look. The, the windows there was the, the door there. Some windows above. The 
window there and it it'll be dark it'll be dark on the the shadow side of the well, the shadow on the on the castle will reflect won't it, in the water just here we'll get sort of a suggestion of a shadow just here from that side touch down there I don't want to do it too, too, too distinct so we can see everything. It's just a case of uh, suggesting stuff. Let's strengthen that tree a little bit there. That's better. Now, before I put, I don't, I want to just strengthen that dark a bit there because it, it's not too. It, it, it'll benefit by a bit more, a bit more strength, I think just to indicate a, a stronger dark just here. A little bit more contrasty. That will be down here as well, won't it? Sort this foreground out. This is that, it's that bluish stuff, you know, that we've got in the in the back there. It's the same same piece of water as that. So let's just drop some water in here, shall we? hoping that a reflection will show through the, the actual water there. Right, let's dry that up a little. In fact, before I dry it up, I'm going to strengthen this, this foreground water just a little bit. To, to, I want to bring it towards me, just here. When you see these things as you as you're working, I think, oh dear, I don't like that. And then you, you correct yourself. So it's uh, it's thinking on your feet. That's better. Now I've put some masking fluid on the little edge there just to to give me a protection. Break it a little bit there. It's nice to have a little bit of uh, uh, sort of water lapping against the shore, but uh, that was a, that was a gale that one. Then the next thing is stop fiddling, unless you can find a bird in the sky. 
No, we're all right. No, no dodgy bits there, so we can we can we can do it quite well on this one without the the golden eagle. I think because it's in Scotland. But uh, I think that that's all for today, folks. Uh, this, as I say, is, is Duart Castle on the island of Mull, a beautiful spot. And if you've enjoyed the video, give us a like or a subscribe, and we can see you next time on the next lesson. That uh, so any questions you can pop them in the comment section below and until next time it's goodbye goodbye folks <laughs>